I'm excited to announce Ansible Automation Platform 2.5. Our goal with this release is to make automation easier for every organization. In this video, three of my favorite Ansible engineers are going to show you the new platform experience that is designed to help accelerate adoption at scale, empower developers and automation engineers, and orchestrate across the enterprise. Now let's get to it. Sean, you're up. Thanks so much, Al. Let me dive right in and provide a quick rundown of some new features and capabilities. The first is really crucial, a new unified platform UI that brings Ansible Automation Controller, event-driven Ansible Controller, and Private Automation Hub together into a unified experience with shared credentials, SSO, and RBAC. This new interface now also includes automation analytics, so your team can measure their automation return on investment and a completely overhauled workflow visualizer to help build automation pipelines across your disparate IT infrastructure. Ansible Quick Starts are really gonna help teams get up and running faster. These are interactive guides found directly in the platform that offer step-by-step -step instructions on how a user can complete key automation tasks within AAP. For example, if I wanted to learn how to build an execution environment, I can just click on the card here and a guide will pop up on the right panel. It allows me to learn while I navigate the product and provides a clear list of each step and what I'm supposed to do. When we think about automation growing across an organization, this is a great way for subject matter experts looking to get automation created quickly and reduce friction to picking up new capabilities as we release them. Finally, AAP 2.5 is shipping with a number of new built-in collections to help with the configuration and management of the platform, allowing teams to get a standardized GitOps as code approach to provide both automation content and platform configuration. Some of these newer updated certified collections include, we also have validated content collections that contain pre-built roles you can use right out of the box. I'm super excited for everyone to explore these new features that are all about making the Ansible experience better and helping our customers get more value from their automation more quickly. But there's even more good stuff to show you. Anshul, tell the people about all the great new stuff for developers and automation engineers in AAP 2.5. Thanks, Sean. With the latest release of Ansible Automation Platform, AAP 2.5, we are excited to unveil a range of enhancements designed to transform the automation creation experience. This update brings together powerful dev tools, innovative light speed features, and advanced Ansible plugins for Reddit Developer Hub, all aimed at streamlining the development, testing, and deployment of Ansible content. In my overview, we'll explore how these new features integrate to provide a more seamless and efficient experience for automation creators. So AAP 2.5 introduces a suite of enterprise-grade automation development tools provided through a single Ansible DevTools package, which is also available as a dev container. The dev container setup supports Windows, Mac OS, and other Linux distributions beyond Red Hat Enterprise Linux or RHEL, offering a pre-configured environment for creating and testing Ansible content through a single configuration file. The integration of these tools with the Ansible extension in Visual Studio Code has also been enhanced, allowing for an easier management of Ansible projects and cleaner automation creation experience. The new Ansible Creator tool, which is part of the package, lets users set up Ansible Playbook projects and follow Ansible best practices directly within Visual Studio Code by passing CLI interactions. Additionally, users can scaffold Ansible collection projects and create playbooks with Ansible Lightspeed, all from within Visual Studio Code. Let's talk about some of the Ansible Lightspeed updates. Recent enhancements to Ansible Lightspeed include guided interface for full playbook generation and easy explanations for new and existing playbooks. This is ideal for understanding or extending projects and even automating new use cases. And the new on-premise deployment addresses security concerns by keeping AI, AI capabilities within secure environments. Ansible Plugins for Red Hat Developer Hub provides an Ansible specific connection to Red Hat Developer Hub, which is based on Backstage, the open source CNCF project. Integrated with the Ansible DevTools package, these plugins help scaffold and uh, playbook and collection projects based on Ansible best practices. They also include built-in learning paths and Ansible labs for quick onboarding and learning, and they can be connected to Ansible or OpenShift Dev Spaces, providing opinionated one-click development environment to accelerate automation creation and help organizations quickly realize the value of AAP. So think of me as a new Ansible developer. Setting up a development environment is straightforward with the DevTools enhancements, 
by just installing the Ansible extension in Visual Studio Code and start using the dev container. Then you can quickly scaffold an Ansible project with Ansible best practices using Ansible Creator. Easily set up the 90 day trial of Ansible Lightspeed, which enables playbook cre creation with additional features like inline suggestions, code attributions, and playbook explanations. Automated linting and testing with Ansible Lint and Ansible Navigator further streamlines the development process. The experience of building automation content has never been smoother and we are committed to this continuous improvement. So in summary, these updates not only streamline automation creation workflows, but also empower automation teams to achieve their goals faster and with greater ease. We are excited to see how Ansible creators use these automation tools and features to build incredible automation content but incredible automation can only take you so far. Colin, tell us how AAP Tour 5 can help our customers orchestrate their automation content in newer ways. Thank you, Anshul. Now I want to talk to you about some exciting additions to event-driven Ansible. A unique bit of brand new functionality is coming to Ansible via event streams. Event streams are built into event-driven Ansible and represent a flexible way of consuming events. Event streams offer a single entry point for events coming into Ansible Automation Platform, and they can be attached to multiple event listeners, what we call rule books, to easily scale to reach additional event types routed to the platform. Our focus is on creating a simpler way to handle events, which we refer to as simplified event routing. Now, before simplified event routing, I might have to open up a port or create a route for each inbound webhook event that I would like to respond to with automation. With simplified event routing, I'm able to define an event stream which I will use to receive events on the default route for Ansible Automation Platform. This means that I no longer have to configure multiple routes to Ansible Automation Platform, and I can now easily attach additional rule books to handle new events being posted to my event stream as my use cases for automation expand. Now, Sean already told you about the new unified platform experience, and you know that I am particularly very excited about this. By creating a more cohesive experience between formerly distant platform components, we're able to introduce a familiar feature set throughout the platform. For event-driven Ansible specifically, this means that we can tap into enterprise feature sets implemented elsewhere in the platform, like support for high availability, role-based access control, single sign-on support, and secure encrypted credentials. Event-driven Ansible is a mechanism by which we're able to reach outside of Ansible and interact with external services. In order to keep our, our environments safe, we're now able to manage access to the credentials that we leverage as part of these integrations to maintain the security of our environments. Now, while we're talking integration, we definitely cannot skip out on discussing some of the latest updates within our automation ecosystem. Integrations really are the bread and butter of a successful automation platform, and we are seeing fantastic progress in making inroads to more of your organization's processes. Now, broadly, we've enhanced the content collection experience to make it easier to find relevant integrations for your organization. While uh, we're also hard at work bringing new integrations to Ansible. So if you're looking at automating or monitoring your network, you'll find new collections like Kentic, Netbox, OpenGear, or a new Cisco Intersight collection might fit the bill. You'll also find new and updated solutions in infrastructure automation collections for ServiceNow, Terraform, and Windows. Now, naming a handful of collections is really just scratching the surface here. So be sure to check out Automation Hub within the brand new unified user experience offered by Ansible Automation Platform. L, back to you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Ansible Automation Platform 2.5 is now generally available. Check the description below for links to blogs, documentation, the trial, and to download the newest version. Thanks for watching and happy automating.